I've made hundreds of YouTube videos without ever showing my face. And in fact, on this channel, my first 300 or so videos were completely faceless. So I wanted to make this video to show you my entire workflow of making faceless YouTube videos and the resources I use to make it easy for me. And having taught YouTube for a few years, I know a lot of the people that don't start a channel don't start because they don't wanna show their face. So this is one of the easiest ways to get started by creating videos where your face is not at all part of the video. Now I'll show you the technical side of creating a faceless video, but the informational, educational, and tutorial based YouTube videos are one of the easiest ways to get started making faceless videos because you really could just use the voice that I'm using right now to tell the story and to explain what's happening without ever showing your face. But instead of your face, you need another visual element that carries the story along. So my workflow is simple. Step one is I come up with a title for the video. That becomes my video idea. So for example, how to make faceless YouTube videos is the title for this video. And it's the topic that I'm gonna explain throughout in educational format. Then step two is I write an outline or even a whole script on exactly what I'm gonna say. This one doesn't have a word by word script, but it has an outline, so I have the steps down so I don't miss a point. For step three, I have a microphone. So what I do is I record voiceover, again, without a camera at all. This is what I did for hundreds of videos. The camera wasn't even here. And this basically is a USB microphone that connects to my laptop. So I use a software called OBS. OBS lets you plug in this USB microphone and it has great sound quality. This is the one I upgraded to after I started with a cheaper one. I'll put some resources again in the description so you see what tools I'm using. And then I went through the script that I wrote or the outline and I just did it in this format, except it was audio only, no video. And then I had that recording, that's step three, record the video's audio. Step four was adding visual elements so I could actually have a video to go along with the audio, right? Otherwise it's just a podcast and not a very good YouTube video. Let me show you the technical process on exactly how I do that on the computer. So in a lot of cases, I did a display capture just showing what's on my screen using this OBS software. So just like you're seeing here, I'm recording the screen and I'm talking over what I'm showing you and that becomes completely faceless, right? If I didn't do the intro for this video, I could have just start the video with this tutorial demonstration. But in a lot of cases, just having a screen capture of your screen on your computer or your phone is not enough, right? So you need another element and that's where I use Envato Elements. So Envato Elements is just this platform that you subscribe to where you basically could get stock videos. So stock videos are all kinds of video clips that you have the full permission to use on YouTube. And you also get a stock photo library. So this has millions, over 5 million actually, what's called royalty-free stock photos. Royalty-free basically means you have permission or you're licensing this from this platform so you could use it without getting into issues with copyright because anything you get from Google is not going to be royalty-free. So you have to get it from platforms like Envato Elements. I like this one personally because you could get stock video and you could get stock photos. So I've partnered with them to sponsor a lot of my videos because it's the one I've used for many years. And then what I do under stock video, for example, I look up the thing that I'm making a video about. So making YouTube videos is what this video is all about, right? So I would search making YouTube videos so when I search that, I'll get a ton of stock videos, right? So all I have to do is just go through this list to find something that makes sense for what I'm talking about in the video. And then when I do come across it, all I have to do is just press this download option and it's gonna download it to my computer. And you're going to find videos like this about just about any topic you look up here. The stock video library just under cooking, look at that, 64,000 different stock videos that you could go through and download as many as you like. That's another benefit of these type of platforms. They're unlimited, so you could download as much as you want. Then you could go to the photo tab and look up cooking again here and see if there is anything related to cooking. And there's going to be thousands, hundreds of thousands in this case, of photos you could use. So in that step, I basically organize all the different videos and all the photos that are gonna get laid over on top of the audio, right? So the audio becomes the story and the tutorial and the information that I wrote as script for. Then the visuals are what I get from this platform and I will lay those on top of the audio. Now, the only thing now you have to do is edit that. So that becomes the last step in this process. And there are a ton of free editing softwares and there are a ton of paid editing softwares. So that really depends on you. 
I will again put some resources because I've covered just about every single edit software out there. For example, if you're using a Mac, you could use an edit software like iMovie. You could even edit your videos on Mac or PC on platforms like Canva.com, which is made for graphic design and video editing. So I will put those resources because I don't want to make this a video tutorial video, but there's plenty of videos for editing, including a ton of my own tutorials, again, linked below. And I've turned that into a system. Now I just take those steps every single time I want to go make a video and I follow them exactly the same way. As I got more comfortable, as I made a few hundred videos that were faceless, I started introducing myself to the audience with a camera. So I set up a camera and I started doing videos like this, but it took me a long time to get comfortable because I'm a behind the scenes type of guy and really wasn't comfortable in front of the camera for a long time. But then as I started making these videos, I got better over time. So I recommend anybody that wants to start a YouTube channel, but again, is being held back because they don't wanna be on camera. This is a great format to get started with where you don't show your face at all. So hopefully you found this useful. I do also have a full training that dives really deep in growing a YouTube channel from scratch. What I've used to monetize five different YouTube channels that I've made thousands of videos across those channels. So I will link that below if you're trying to grow a YouTube channel. Thanks so much again and I'll see you next time.